God gives a wake-up call and a warning in the book of Luke chapter 12 verse 48. Bible says like this, but he that knew not and did not commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. For unto whomsoever more is given of him shall be much recurred, and to whom men have committed much of him they will ask the more. You got it? My brother, God makes it very clear. The more you know, the more will be asked. You got it? God makes it very clear. The people with less knowledge will also be punished with few stripes. But people with more knowledge will be punished all the more. You got it? In other words, God says that whatever we have with us, someday we will have to give an account of it. Someday God, the Master, will come and reckon with us. That's what we read in the book of Matthew, chapter 25, verse 19. To some God gave five talents, to some two talents, some other one talent. None was without any talent. God gave every one of us talents, gifts. And God says that someday we will have to stand before him and give account of ourselves. That's what we read in Romans chapter 14 verse 12. My brother, my sister, my friend, the time you have, the talents you have, the tre treasures you have in your hand is not all belong to you. You got it. Don't think that the time, the talents, the treasures, what you have is all for you. No, no. Don't think like that. See, in the book of Genesis, chapter 12, verse 3, God said, We will be channels of blessings, not dams of blessings. We will be channels of blessings. So, so stop heaping and keeping only for you and yours. We need to disperse. Because we are channels of blessing. See, in the book of Galatians chapter 3, verse 29, God says that if one is in Christ, he is the seed of Abraham. So whatever the promises given to Abraham applies for you and I as well, as long as we are in Christ. You got it? So we are channels of blessings. We need to distribute. We need to disperse. We need to pass it on. The time, the talents, the treasures, whatever you have in your hand, all doesn't belong to you, my brother, to you, my sister, to you, my friend. Whatever God has given, all doesn't belong to you. A portion of it belongs to you. The remaining thing we need to pass on. We need to pass on. God has kept us here upon the face of the earth as channels of blessings. The moment you receive Lord Jesus as a Savior, you become a seed of Abraham. You become a son of Abraham, a daughter of Abraham, a child of Abraham. You got it? We need to pass it on. That's what God says. That people with less knowledge will also be punished with few stripes. People with greater knowledge will be punished more. That's what he says. More will be asked from more is given. My brother, my sister, my friend, in the book of Acts, chapter 17, verse 30, God says that in the days of ignorance, God winked at us. But now he commands all mankind to repent. You got it? Brother, sister, my friend, wake up. There comes a day we all will have to stand before God and give account of ourselves. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. 
Don't think that the time, talents and treasures is all yours and don't think that the way you want, you can live. My brother, my sister, my friend, you are wrong. That's not true. It is not like that. God says that ignorance will bind us. That's what we read in the book of Isaiah chapter 5 verse 13. Ignorance will destroy us. That's what God says in the book of Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My friend, ignorance will bind you and ignorance will kill you. So know what you are supposed to know before too late. My brother, my sister, my friend, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Always remember, whatever you have in your hand, as long as it is in your hand, it is not yours. As long as it is in your hand, be it your time, be it your talents, be it your trust, whatever it may be, as long as it is in your own hand, in your hand, it is not yours. The moment you release it for the poor, that belongs to you permanently. That will be converted into eternal treasures. The moment you release what you have in your hand for the kingdom of God, for God's work, for spreading the good news of salvation, the moment you do it, that becomes yours permanently. That is what is going to earn you eternal rewards. You got it? My brother, my sister, my friend, wake up. Wake up. Knowledge will deliver you. Knowledge will give you freedom. Knowledge will give you life, eternal life. Knowledge is nothing but the Holy Bible. The true knowledge will set you free. God's word is the true knowledge. That's what we read in the book of John chapter 8 verse 32 and John chapter 17 verse 17. My brother, my sister, my friend, wake up. You know what? The last commandment was given to us by Jesus before his ascension. That's what we read in the book of Matthew chapter 28 verse 19 and 20. He said, Go, all of you. He commanded us, go, all of you, therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them all to observe whatever I taught you. Whatever Jesus taught us, whatever the Bible teaches us, we are supposed to teach to the Gentiles, to the heathen, to the unsaved folks. We need to, we are supposed to teach them. And God said, go and do it. He didn't say, wait, if somebody comes to you, tell them. No, no, he commanded us, go and teach them and baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. And he promised us, lo, I am with you until the end. Are we doing that? Are we doing that? My brother, my sister, my friend, ask yourself. Always remember. There comes a day you and I will have to stand before God and give account of ourselves. No escape, my brother. No escape, my sister. No escape, my friend. We cannot escape. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. So God is giving you the wake-up call. And God is warning you. And God is suggesting you, giving you wisdom to fix things. So set right things. My brother, my sister, my friend, always remember, more will be asked with those more is given. Many of us, we know about Jesus. We have received Jesus as our Lord and Savior and we are enjoying it. We are enjoying him and we are living with him. How many of us have that burden to pass it on, to tell others, to teach others what Jesus has done to us and doing to us and what he is waiting to do for us in heaven. My brother, my sister, my friend, wake up. Wake up and wake up. Take a decision today. Lord, I will stand for you. I will live for you. 
I will make you proud. Take a decision today and be determined to do that. My brother, my sister, my friend, God loves you. Jesus loves you. I love you. Until we meet again, may God continue to be with you as well. Amen. Hallelujah.